Full Hera, Mother Divine, Wisest Athena, Mighty Poseidon, the Earth Shaker, Zeus Artemis, with her deadly aim, set to pierce into the heart of a hummingbird, painted pigs, all of them, I see. Beside his allies, the Titans, convince him to stand down. It's not that simple. He is even blocking my ability to glimpse the future. I cannot see past him. Go on. Blast me. I can't! He took my lightning! He took everything! Even the other gods are missing! Look to the mortals. That's done. Those evil, impy, silly, tasteless parasites were all turned to stone. One of those evil parasites is about to save your royal ass. My ass is safely lodged in the Aegean stables, and mortals will never be anything but a mistake. Care to make a wager? If I'm right, my sin of stealing fire and ensuring their survival becomes a blessing. You find your punishment unjust. It's a little uh, extreme. Do we have a deal? If you win, I'll end your punishment and set you free. But if I win, you help me stop Typhon, whatever it takes. Very well. Let the tale of Phoenix be my redemption! Oh no, not one of your stories. How long is this going to... My tale begins at sea. A ship of soldiers returning from a faraway battle. Their victory ambushed by an unexpected storm. The sea tossed and turned. Waves churned into a throng. The line between sky and sea all but vanished. The mountainous peaks of the waves descended into valleys nearly as deep as Tartarus. You're really painting a picture here. It's an art. Point is, the ship didn't stand a chance. Wait, 
has a beard. Like Apollo's chest hair. There, I see him clear as day. Uh, uh, the lowest ranked among them, a shield bearer. skirmish, a teller of tales, not a doer of deeds. Phoenix. What a name, Phoenix. Sounds like the sound a dumb bird makes when it lights itself on fire, which would be ridiculous. Although, I should write that down. Washed up on an unknown shore, Phoenix awoke. Looks like the only way off this beach is up that cliff. saw his captain and fellow soldiers in the distance. Through a trick of the light, he could almost see them waving and calling to him. Phoenix! Again! You may not be your brother Ligiron, but I will make something of you yet. Hold my shield. Try not to drop it this time. I didn't see you there. Don't let them get to you. They're just jealous. It's not often someone has a brother like yours. Lokogos, can you hear me? You've gone cold. What magic is this? The Giron, where are you, brother? Unarmed and lost, Phoenix was vulnerable. I have to be calm. I have to follow my training.
Phoenix had never been allowed to hold the hallowed sword, a gift from Achilles for bravery in battle. It balanced perfectly in his palm, as if forged for it. Achilles' sword? Huh? Brother must have been good in... Is something wrong with your voice? I never got a sword. Just say. Phoenix took it up. sword for his first Shields fight. Survey the land from up there. This is the largest statue of Hermes I've ever seen. I wonder who built it. Besieged by challenge, totally alone. This young hero was determined to save his fellow soldiers and brother. Boring! Can we skip this part? No. Oh, this is important for the sense of atmosphere. my old friend. It's an honor to finally meet you in person. Just don't tell anyone I'm speaking to you. I got in enough trouble for memorizing stories instead of tilling the soil back at home. And then the other soldiers? Well, they really don't appreciate a good story. Phoenix's destiny was becoming clear. So far, all you have shown me is a mortal soldier who has fought one real battle, and Typhon grows stronger by the hour. Don't toy with me, Prometheus. I swear to you that soldier shall be our salvation. For if he fails and Typhon defeats us, Zeus, king of gods, the world will fall to chaos. A temple of Apollo? If it has an oracle or a seer, they could help me undo this curse. A griffin? But they aren't real. Let me go! Help! Hey! I'll save you! I'm coming! I need to find a way to reach that rift.
how to get down. The pond! You gave him your blade? Oh, Achilles. I, I meant to ask, why exactly would you expect to receive a sword from Achilles? Oh, uh, as an offering, just a routine offering from someone who gazed into your eyes and told you you were special. That's all. I left the rose on his breastplate. Got something in my eye. Keep going. There's no way across. Unlike the mortal flesh, which had been frozen into marble, the pomegranate sprung forth defiantly, bursting with life. A lot of poetry for something that just got a stick in their mouth. Isn't that what the best poetry is about? <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Yeah. 